Hey guys and welcome back to Mobile Money Makers. Today I'm going to be doing 10 hours of Borkaf. I've already done this video before but it's been over a year so I thought I'd do an up to date one. It's actually been a while since I've done these videos all together. So we start off going over the requirements. We then do a price check every hour for the first 5 hours. Then a final one on the 10 hours. And then we minus our costs and work out the exact profit. And then a little review just to round it all up with. I do have a load of uh, stuff in my inventory that is just a track for later on. Gear wise, we are going to be using the Dragon Hunter Crossbow, the Dragonfire Ward, Full Elite Void, Pagasian Boots. We're basically in max setup. Skill wise, I do have 99 range and I do have 99 prayer, which is going to help a bit. Also, the 99 magic gives me a little bit better magic defense, so that could help me out as well. So bear that in mind with your own attempts. But yeah, let's jump straight into the requirements. So for the requirements, there is only one requirement to do Vorkath, and that is completion of the quest Dragon Slayer 2, which is a Grand Master quest. It's very hard to complete this, and there's a lot of skills you need, which are going to be on the screen now, and a load of quests which are rolling up the screen. Now, as I said, this is a Grand Master quest. You're going to be coming up across a lot of hard, high-level bosses, you're going to need a high combat as well to go along with this, so just bear that in mind. But the quest is very, very good to get out of the way. The ability to do Vorkath and Rune Dragons is massive for GP, so 100% worth it. So, for the recommended stats. Now, I highly recommend a high level range. Around about 85 plus is going to do you quite well. You can melee Vorkath. The Dragon Hunter Lance is pretty good, but range is definitely easier in my opinion. Now, you're also going to want to grab yourself Void. This is pretty much best in slot in most cases, especially as you can incorporate it with the imbued salve amulet. Now with this, you're also going to want to have yourself a decent weapon, a blowpipe and BGS combo is pretty good. You can actually do this with a rune crossbow, but the best in slot is a dragon hunter crossbow and that is going to do you very, very good here. So we are all set and ready, better start the timer going. And yeah, time to kill some Vorkath. It's been a little while since I've done Vorkath, especially on mobile altogether, so I'm probably going to get pretty naff kills this first hour, but I should get into the swing of things pretty uh, easy. So yeah, I'll see you in one hour's time. So we are coming up to the one hour mark now. Let's get out of here. Um, let's have a little look at the timer, actually. Just under the hour mark. It's not too bad, I guess. But yeah, let's go and do our first hour price check. So we add in our dragon bow axes and the total price check for our first one comes to 2,998,000 which is absolutely insane. You can see a lot of the money is in like the in the superior dragon bones, the hides, all of that stuff. But yeah, crazy money and hopefully it continues like this. Okay, so that was a little bit of a lengthy kill. Uh, we picked up our stuff oh, almost two minutes over. Not too bad, but let's go back and do our two hour price check. Okay, so I've actually got so much loot, we're going to have to do this into uh, two price checks. The first one is coming out at 5,430,000, not too bad at all. And now I'll go and do our second price check. And our second price check comes out at 422,000. That plus our other one, that comes to a total of 5,852,000, so not bad. And I'll see you at hour three. So we are coming up to the three hours. This should be our very last Warcraft kill. Anything good? Uh, dragon uh, arrow tips? That wasn't too bad. Green dragon hides. We'll take that. So uh, yeah, let's uh, telly out of here and stop the timer. Pretty much bang on three hours. That's not too bad. And yeah, let's go and do our three hour price check. Again, we're going to have to do this in two price checks. The first one being 6,007,000. Not too bad. And price check number two comes out at 2,646,000. Uh, that plus the other one comes out to a total of 8,653,000. So, yeah, not too bad. I know the supplies are going to be a little bit costly. Those, uh, those dragon bolt tips and stuff, they're going to definitely add up. But still, not too bad. And I'll see you at the four hour mark. And that should have been the last kill of the four hours. Uh, just over, 30 seconds over, not too bad. Let's telly back and do our four hour price check. So for our first price check, that comes out at 8,177,000. Not bad at all. Those dragon bolts are adding up quite a bit. A few other things are quite nice. But uh, yeah, let's get on with the second one. And the second half of the price check, 
that comes out at 3,883,000. That is a grand total of 12 million and 60,000 made already. Obviously, that's not including costs. But yeah, I'll see you in the next hour. So we are coming up to the five hours. Just double check I haven't missed any decent loot. The amount of time seeds get trapped under there. Oh, three minutes over. That was a bit of a lengthy kill there. But um, yeah, hopefully we've made some decent money. I'm probably going to have to do this in the two sittings. So far, this has been one sitting. But my thumbs have been absolutely destroyed by this. But the money is going to be worth it. We're going to make some serious money. I just going to have to keep telling myself that. But yeah, let's get on with the next price check. So for the first half, that comes to 10,199,000, not bad there. And for the second half, the total is 4,772,000. So that is a grand total of 14,971,000. I'm going to have a little break now, but I will be seeing you in five hours for the final price check. I was a little bit debating whether or not to wait till the end of the video, seeming as we're so close, but 20 minutes to go. And I've managed to grab myself a skeletal visage. I'm absolutely buzzing. How much are these worth these days? 16 mil. Oh my god. That is like a 1 in 5,000 chance as well. I got super lucky with that. So this should be our last 4 calf kill of the 10 hours. It's been it's been an alright 10 hours. It's a little bit tough on the thumbs. I mean, 4 calf's alright on mobile, but... Some things are just, it don't feel as easy as on computer. Literally just over 10 hours, 30 seconds. I'm not going to cry about that. Really excited to see just how much money we've made over this 10 hour period. So let's go back and do our first price check. I was debating whether or not just to sell all this in the GE, but I am going to do the actual price check so you can see all of the items. I think it's quite nice to see them sometimes. And then after that, we will go and sell it all work out our costs, minus the costs out of it, and then that will be our total profit. So yeah, let's get on with these two price checks. And our first half comes out at 13,332,000. That is crazy money, and that's just the first half. I think the second half might even be more, because there's a lot of the uh, dragon bones and all of that stuff's in the other one. But as you can see, a lot of money in this. The uh, dragon plate legs are quite nice. So yeah, let's do our second half now. And the second half is 15,475,000. That's a total of 28,807,000. But we'll see exactly how much we make when we actually sell all of this. But we did get ourselves that skeletal visage. So yeah, that's a nice 16 mil just to add on top. Which is very, very nice to see. So this should be the last couple items selling now. We'll just try and get them in cheap. But it's time to work out the costs. There's a lot of them. It's definitely going to take me a little while. Two hours later. So it's been a little while. We've worked out our costs and it's time to do our final price check. Chucking all the money in. We made a grand total of 28,922,000. But unfortunately we're going to have to minus our costs from that. And there was a lot of them. The total costs came to 3700000 and 88,873. Most of this was in the Dragon Bolts, the Monkfish, the Prayer Potions, they were all very expensive, but our total profit is 25,133,000, which is not bad for 10 hours worth of work. But we did get that Skeletal Visage as well, which we were very lucky on. So bear that in mind, you're not always gonna get one of them, they're one in 5,000, but with that included, we made a total profit of 41 million, which is very, very good for 10 hours worth of work. But with, even without the visage, the money itself is very, very good. 25 mil for 10 hours worth of work is, is pretty good, and I can't complain. But yeah, let's jump into a little review of the whole process. So first things first for the review, we're going to go over the profit per hour. And the profit per hour... Without the skeletal visage, because I'm not going to include that because we did get pretty lucky, is 2,513,000, which in itself is very, very good. That is one of the best money makers in the whole of OSRS. And you can't really complain. It's all pretty much guaranteed. And you can get that skeletal visage drop, which is awesome. For the AFK rating, unfortunately, I'm going to have to give this a 1 out of 5. You have to keep a constant eye out for the fireballs. As soon as you look up, and look back down at the screen, there's a fireball coming and it's going to kill you. So you have to be very, very careful. 
definitely not AFK. Now for the mobile rating, I'm going to have to give this sadly a 1 out of 5 as well. It's not the best thing to do on mobile, it's easier doing it on the computer, but you can do it on the mobile. So that's the important thing, and for 2.5 mil per hour, it's probably worth the hassle. If you're a mobile only sort of player, this is still very, very good for you. If you can do it on the computer, definitely, but you can do this efficiently on the mobile, and the money speaks for itself, to be honest. Two and a half a mil per hour is very, very good, and yeah, Dragon Slayer 2, a hard quest to do, but for this, it's definitely worth it. So there we go, that pretty much wraps it up, the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel out massively, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.